Hi, I'm Leslie with the St. Johns County Public Library System, and I work with the Bookmobile Extension Services Department. We just wanted to make sure and say hi to all of our patrons. We have been missing you. So this is a great way for us to try and keep in touch with you. Today, we wanted to do a quick and easy craft. This is an envelope pillowcase. It can be used on any pillow that you might have at home and used with any fabric that you might have lying around. This is a bed sheet that I had purchased from a thrift shop. And it wasn't until I got home, I saw that it had a rip and I just loved the fabric. So I'm gonna use it for your pillowcase and I might even use it for a project later, maybe a dress for me. So let's get started. This pillow did have a case that I was able to use as a pattern. It was just as easy as laying this out and cutting around it, making sure I gave myself a little bit on each side for seams. The pillow that we're gonna cover today, I'm gonna do something similar, but I don't have the case to work with. This I'm just gonna lay out on my fabric and cut around it. I'm gonna wrap it like a present and just making sure that I am allowing myself extra on the sides for my seams and I do need to allow about six extra inches on my ends where I want to overlap it for that envelope. Because this is a bed sheet, it already has a very nice hem and I'm going to save myself some time and work with that. That's at least one seam I don't have to sew. So once I have cut that out, my raw edge where I had cut, I do want to go ahead and fold it over about an inch and I want to stitch that up because I want that to be a protected edge. I don't want the material to be fraying. Okay, I did stitch that seam that was the raw edge that just protects the material from fraying. Now I have folded my material into almost thirds. I have the right side to the right side, but then I needed to fold one edge under so that it fits the dimensions of my pillow. So this has been folded. And I have just a little edge tucked up underneath there. So this is 17 inches. And what I wanna do is take just a couple of pins and go along the sides where I'm gonna be sewing. And we are almost done. I just wanted to give you all a better example of how I folded the fabric. So this is a piece of fabric that is pretty much the same dimensions as the other, but I'm going to fold it in half, right side to right side. But because I need it to be 17 inches, I need to make that fold and this is also going to be the little envelope part for the pillow. So if I fold it over, so it kind of looks like this just has that little flap. Let me take a measurement. That is right about what I need. And that's it. Just right side to right side. Need to do the fold under. And then you would stitch this edge and this edge 
and this would stay open so you could put your pillow in. So I just have three pins and I've given myself about an inch for a seam on each side. And I'm just going to stitch these two sides up. And now I'm going to open it up, pull on these little corners, put my finger up into them so they are nice and flat. And do the same thing with these two corners. And now let's go ahead and put our pillow together. And here's our pillowcase that we made. Here's the little pocket. Just a simple project for you all to do while you're at home taking care of yourselves. Thank you for watching and please post your creations.